Hi Capricorns, welcome to your reading for February. So, I don't know what happened to your guys' reading, like what happened to the video, but all of a sudden it was gone. And it turns out I didn't have a backup for you guys' reading. Oh, uh, so yeah, here I am, re-recording your February reading, and I guess it's all meant to be. I guess it just had to go like this. I guess today was the day we had to really pick up on some deeper energy for you guys for this month. Um, how are you guys feeling? Because I'm getting a lot of mixed mixed energies coming from you guys. Um, some of you are really um, really focused, really aligned, really doing good. And then I have this other group that I feel that you guys are a little stuck and stagnant. Don't really know which way to go, how to work with this energy from from Aquarius energy that we, that's coming in. Um, so a little bit trying to find your way, I'm hearing. So that's all good. But what I do feel is that there's a lot of throat chakra energy going on. Um, they're showing me that there's something on your mind and you're just not ready to say it. And it has something to do with a partner or um, it could be a business partner, but I feel it has to do with love and um, it might be surrounded around, you know, this whole Valentine energy of like, oh, Valentine's coming up. I don't want to, you know, uh, stir up anything right now. I just want to go with the flow. I'm just not going to say anything. And it's not a way to go, Capricorn, because I'd see a lot of beautiful alignment, a lot of beautiful reconciliation for you guys when it comes to communication being the key. Just speak it out. It's the way you say things, not what you say. You gotta always say, you gotta always speak your truth, but it's the way you say it, you know. There's a lot of ways to say certain things. You know, it can come from a place of judgment, it can come from a place of um, hurt, basically, and let things going on for a long time and you don't really have any compassion left towards the person you actually want to communicate something to. You build it up, you build it up, and then you don't really have that element left anymore you don't have that energy to to um, work with so before something becomes really big it's important to just speak it out it's never wrong to speak your feelings or anything it just depends on how you bring it um then uh, speaking your truth is, is never wrong never like ever just just communicate what's going on what's going on here capricorn what's going on let me just ground a little bit. So, um, while well, I was meditating, I did got the throat chakra energy, but I also had this interesting thing coming up for you guys. They were showing me this, this triangle, right? The connection between mind, body, and spirit. Mind, body, and soul. Let's just say it like that. Um, and it's about the flow of energy the flow of energy that that makes you that motivating um motivated excited um hard working capricorn you know where is it and they ask me like can you go within and look at where you're coming from which one of the of the tree is is at the moment the ruler the one you come from and who are the followers um, a lot, some people really come from their physical body, their body. When they feel tired, the body feels tired, they take a rest. When they feel happy, they experience um, themselves as a happy person. It's like how they feel, how the bus muscles feel, how the physical body reacts, how it moves, how you feel when you wake up, how the, you know, everything. It's like they're coming from the body, right? It's like I feel old because my body just won't really move the way it used to. You know, it's like that, right? Or they let their physical body determine how they feel within, how they feel about themselves. You know, a lot of people come from that point of view. Then you have the men, I think even a bigger group that comes from the mind. It's like, I believe, like I think, that I'm pretty happy right now. I I think, you know, I have thoughts about what I want or um, 
you know, like thinking about what you, what would make you happy or, or, or who, what is right and what is wrong. And there's a lot of mind and a lot of head space. Like I will do this because it makes sense to do that. That's the economy. That's the way it's been proven. That's the way uh, people, you know, the, the um, po politics are, you know, pushing us towards that's what make is is right be, because they say it that's because that group it's like i think i think i think and that is all the that's the ruler so if i think it's the right decision i'll make it even though my body is not really happy with it even though my body seems to get really tired and cut back on the energy level it's okay because in my mind i'm doing the right thing so my body just gotta keep catching up gotta follow and when it comes to my soul yeah well i think i'll find something on the side that can feed her or him right it's like who is guiding you at the moment that's what they're showing me who is guiding you and i feel there's a shift coming in that it doesn't have to be only one person though of oh, person wow only one one point it doesn't the key is to let all three of them become equal and becoming really aware of when which one is supposed to lead the other and let them all work together because all three parts have uh, value and have something to bring to the table for the other one, right? And that's what they're showing me. And that, it was so interesting, actually, Capricorn. I know a lot. some of you guys are like, Ugh, just get to the cards already. <laughs> I know, but I don't know why this came up in the meditation. I think for you guys, uh, it might be um, something to think about this month. Because uh, Aquarius energy really gets you up in the headspace. You know, so that's why I say think about it. Logically think about who is being a Buddha at this point and if you want to leave it in the comment section i would like to know you know if you figure it out i think it's interesting <laughs> okay capricorns let's get started like i said i do feel a reconciliation energy around you guys i don't know hmm, who but for some of you it's really you're gonna get back into alignment really one on one line with with a person an important person in your life that's always a nice thing to look forward to. That's always a good energy because when somebody close and your energy is not aligned and really off and you guys are like, you know, maybe fighting or arguing or that, it does take a toll on your body, mind and soul. It just does. Even though you know you're right and you're not going to give in and you're very stubborn because you're a Capricorn. <laughs> so you stick with what you know. But... It still takes something away from you. You always feel more peaceful when everything is just, you know, in alignment. So that's what I see is coming in for you guys. Let's see what else is on the table for you. Because I want to pick a goddess guidance card. There you go. That was quick. That was really quick. And it's a beautiful card as well. Definitely to get in, in the love month. Okay. True love. The romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. So, coming more from the heart chakra, doing things more from the soul, right? And that spiritual body of yours. You have been vibrating on an energy, Capricorn. Whether you were very aware of it or not, it's just... Being kind to be kind, helping somebody to help somebody. You know, it's like, it's all those little moments and all those little things that, that send a vibration out to the universe. And I feel that that's more it. You know, that's more it. You have been caring and loving in so many different ways because you guys are always sort of serving somebody. In one day, you'll have at least one person that receives some, some type of service from you. Whether that is helping somebody cross the street, whether it's a friend that has troubles and just needs a phone call. You know, it's, it's like all of those things, like all those little things you've been giving me throughout this last month have really sent out energy towards the universe. And I feel that's great love coming in for you. It's true love. Okay, Capricorn, it's true love. 
And true love doesn't always mean that it's really easy and everything is going go with the flow and it's just, you know, it's, it's always flawless and we're just in the same in everything. No, but it's true. It's something that's real. It's not an illusion. It's not a person being anything else than they really are. You not being have to be anything that you really truly feel in your heart. And it's true. And it helps you evolve and it helps you grow and it helps you build something, you know, and it makes you happy because it's true. So sometimes a true energy and true vibration can get really messy, you know, because a lot of times it's outside the box where we find the real truth. Because we all live in like this box life, right? It's like, well, if you go to school, you got to do this and you got to be that and you got to be on time and you got to do this, all these things, right? All these little rules. And especially when I, where I live, there are so many rules, I can't keep up, okay? So I just decided on an early age, I'll have these set of manners, which I'm going to be, you know, adding into my life. I do have like manners and stuff and values of life. But there's no effing way I'm going to keep in, you know, running in the lines that they all put up and set up in the bunch. And it, I couldn't. It was just not my soul. My soul was like, no, no, I don't want to do it like that. So I didn't, you know, <laughs> choose my own path. But that's the thing. It's like outside that is where we find the truth. I also have to get outside my own comfort zone to do and stand in my truth and do what I do online, for example. You know, it's not the most easiest path to walk, especially when you deal with people around you that are not that spiritual in this lifetime at all. And it's, but I still got to go and do it. I still have to go and follow that truth path. And I feel you guys are doing that with love as well. And you see something true in this person. Whether you're single right now, don't hold on. If... Okay, I'm just gonna go to it. I'm gonna go there, okay? I don't care. I don't care. If you guys want me to do the cards and just press forward. <laughs> I wanna do my reading this month the way I wanna do it. Um, if you are sort of focused on this February 14th and the whole Valentine, let it go. Breathe. Let that go. That's not real. And if a person only has to show that love, you have to show your love on the 14th of February in just one day of the whole entire year. That's not true. That's not real love. That's just going with the flow of the of the commercial of it. And I'm not saying that it's not nice to do something nice for the person on that day. But that's no pressure. Just because you're single on 14th, that... And there are people that do feel less valued. There's a lot of you that don't. Thank God. Bless you guys. There are a lot of you that do feel a little something. That you don't have somebody on that day. And that's why I don't really like Christmas. And, and like uh, Valentine's Day. Because it, it's such a small group. Or it's a group. You know, it's a group thing. It's like some people don't have people to go to on Christmas and they feel more alone when it comes to days like that. That's why I don't really like it when there's so much focus and so much pressure on we have to have a good time because it's Christmas or it's because it's Valentine. You have to have a love. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to have anything that other people put value on. You are doing you. You're growing. You're evolving. You're working on yourself. You're working on, you know, becoming the best version of yourself. You're working on your, your future, your things, your basic and being happy. That's way more important than 14th of the February, okay? Sorry, I just need to get that off my chest because I don't want you to feel any less on that day just because people put all these expectations on it. It's not real, it's an illusion. And I love the fact that people share love and you can feel the energy on that day. But just because you're not part of it in that manner, in that way, well, first of all, you know, you don't have to. Don't let anybody tell you that that day holds a certain type of value and you have to feel less about yourself just because it's that day. No, I don't want you guys to feel like that. And I'm not going to allow you to feel like that. Because it's not important at all. Yes, I'm in a relationship at the moment. I was single for years and years. Now I'm in a relationship. 
But we boycott it. We're like, no, we don't need a day to express love and all of that. We do that every day. <laughs> you know, cancer. <laughs> but I've never felt any different on the 14th of February just because I wasn't with somebody. I wouldn't allow anything to make me feel like that. You know, and I know you guys got that inside of you. So I need you to dig deep and find that truth. True love, remember? Not because it's for 14th of February. We have to be in the love frequency. Nope. Well, we always have to be in the love frequency. But you know what I mean, right? With another person. So, got it all out. It's all out on the table. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I add that to the reading. I felt very strongly guided to, so... Let's get started with your tarot reading. Bum. You don't need it. Because you're all the way good. <laughs> you're all the way good, Capricorn. You are all the way good. You know your value. You know where you're heading. You know. And and not, not nada. Nada can get you out of that path. Wow. And that's how I like to see my Capricorns, you know. Beautiful. So, could be dealing with a water energy. Wow, now look at that. I told you there's some real love on the table for you guys. Some true love. And some of you are dealing with somebody that's really, really independent, emotionally independent, financially independent. This could be you, Capricorn, but I do see some of you dealing with a water energy, a water sign, whether it's masculine or feminine energy, doesn't matter. It's a general reading, but I do feel that you guys are dealing with somebody that got that ish together, okay? Some of you. And if not, then that is you feeling emotionally independent, feeling emotionally content, starting to feel financially secure, and that is what's coming and that's why and that's definitely why some of you guys first focus on that first focus on getting those three you know mind body and soul in working and aligning together and just focusing on what is inside me that that i i need to go move towards to make me happy or to make me vibrate on the frequency of love and to release all that lower energy and release the fear that have been put into my body and to my soul throughout this lifetime and maybe past lifetimes even what is it that makes you feel like the sun is out and everything is out there i do feel like it's something you are you're showing it to the world basically i'm feeling good that's what i'm hearing and so like i said some of you are dealing with that water energy could be also an earth energy with a lot of water in his or her chart but that's the person for you so somebody that's coming in is very independent and you guys like a person that is i do see like somebody maybe with like um something it's not for all of you but i do see like a lot of people that are like um you know that own their own company or just you know entrepreneurs in general um but some of you guys are dealing with somebody that is an owner of like um how do you say that um like a vegan thing like a vegan store or something to do with with nature project products like this person has a products maybe this is you when you have like this nature product maybe you make your own sunscreen or you make your own you know like wine or something like that like something that had to do with 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 really like the most natural products and putting it into creating it into something that's what i'm hearing that person could be like an owner of a small company like that maybe they sell their products online or something like that from the house or anything but it's doing really good and that person is really passionate about what they're doing this could be you as well like i said wow you see i try to shuffle it but there's no stopping this sun tour coming out okay wow look at the beautiful energy capricorn okay and i know some of you do not feel like this but 
don't block your blessings this month. Okay, because this is because it is possible. Don't block your blessings. Know what you're fighting for. Know which battles to pick. Okay, no one to retreat and let people live in their illusions and know where to put your energy. Very focused energy. I'm putting my energy towards love. I'm putting my energy towards building my own thing. I'm putting my energy towards things that make me feel happy and good. And I'm going to fight for that. And I'm going to protect that. I'm going to protect my energy is what I'm hearing. Protect my energy. You nobody effing with my good vibes this month. Bum. Nobody coming in. It's you and me. What? Capricorn. What an energy. Okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. There is something special in the cards for you guys. I don't read reversals, but I'm going to focus on it for a little bit. You don't see it coming. Something is coming to light. Because here it is. Here's expectation. This person who expects the ships are coming in. He's here. He's waiting. He doesn't know exactly when, but he knows it's coming in. Because he's standing here and waiting for the ships to come in. This was in reverse. Meaning that you are not focused on this. This could hit you like a, you know, like a tower effect. It's like, bum, all of a sudden you're not single anymore. You're like, wait, what? This wasn't part of my 2019 love, you know, self-love, self-care, self-evolvement year. I wasn't planning on adding somebody to the equation, okay? But you, but there is. So there's something that you weren't planning, but yet it resolves this. So it's the four of wands, the three of wands in reverse. I'm going to put it back up. But because it came out with the moon and the sun, it's like, it's not something you've been planning on. It's not something you can see coming. This could also be career related, work related. But I do feel a lot of, I see a strong energy when it comes to an equal partner. Don't know who that is, but let me see. You don't see it coming, but it's here. It's getting revealed, okay? It's getting revealed, most definitely. So, damn. That is, that is what I call a good reading, Capricorn. That's the one. Okay. Bum. That's you. You see? King. Generous. Feeling your element, feeling you have something to give and to share because you took that time out to feel like a king again. Whether you're masculine or feminine, feminine can be a king, okay? This, it's about There's something coming towards you that's making you feel really, really good, really abundant. And I do feel that, of course, it could have to do something with money. This could be a Taurus energy. I think Capricorn and Taurus will go together. But that really depends on what else is in, in your chart and their chart. It's like a love-hate relationship, I'm hearing. <laughs> you see, there it is. The Six of Wands out there again. Something victorious. Let's see. What else coming up for my Capricorns? What else needs to come out? What else needs to come out? Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups. Of course. What else do we need? You see that reconciliation. Okay, great. 
Great, great, great. Bum. Now, I can't stop. This is you. You're showing up in your own reading. You're showing up in your own reading. So powerful. So, 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 so powerful. Sorry, Capricorn. The camera keeps falling down. But I think I fixed it now, so I hope it's going to stay. Okay. Like I said, very powerful. Showing up in your own reading. You got some energy to protect this. You you have to be aware. That's what I, what they're showing me. It's like be very aware of where you put your focus in this month. And know which battle to fight and which battle to just, you know, leave up to other people. Focus on getting that triangle together. Mind, body, and soul, who at this moment is taking the lead and needs to take a step back, okay? Take a seat. <laughs> take a seat. Let the soul walk a little bit, okay? Soul is the only one that keeps the other two in balance. It's the body loves when the soul is the guidance, okay? The body, you can feel it in your body. You can feel the difference. Your body is like, okay, ah, I like this. And your mind is the one that will put up a fight. But it doesn't make sense and it's not logic and it's not supposed to go like this because in the book it says that you have to go like that. And that person showed me that it wasn't supposed to be like this. The, your, your mind will argue with you. It will. It will always will because that's not in your nature. But that doesn't mean you have to just completely paralyze and feel and that, that, that that's the only way to go about it. No, it, it is there for a reason. Once you master it, once you no longer... You know, let yourself become a victim of, of it, you know, and feel trapped by it. That's the moment it actually can make you stronger. It can actually make you a lot stronger, you know. So that's what I'm getting when it comes to the tarot for you guys. I'm going to do a small pick card reading. It's just amazing. Man. It's just amazing, this energy. It's flowing. It just flows. It flows. Just go with the flow. Because there are some beautiful things flowing in for you guys, okay? I'm going to pick up this deck. And I'm going to do a small pick card reading. Three cards. Um, I'm going to put three cards out on the table. For this month, for February. And you can pick one. You can also pick two or three. It's up to you. Most people pick one. But go with, go with your intuition. And most definitely, I can't pick the card, sorry. Um, go with your intuition when it comes to this. Take your time. If you want to pause the reading, pause it. Um, ask your question or just open up your energy for some guidance. There we go. That's two. And then we only need one more card. Okay, one more card for my Capricorns. One more card for my Capricorns. One more card. There we go. Okay. Take your time. Then we're going to get started with the first one. Two of action. Trusting your ability to make excellent choices. There's opportunity all around you if you just continue to move forward. It may be time to take on a new partner who can help you be a success in your career or your creative endeavors. Keep your eyes on the big picture rather than the details at the moment, Capricorn. Beautiful. Keep your eyes on the bigger picture. Don't get lost in small little, you know. Like I said, pick your battles very carefully this month. Know where to put your energy towards and keep the bigger picture in mind. There is multiple opportunity around you. You just have to continue to move forward. That's it. But it's a beautiful card. Let's see what else we got. Number two. Five of action. Your angels want you to know that your current challenge pushes you to be assertive and self-confident. There we go. Told you. It makes you stronger. 
Be willing to stand up, seven of wands. Be willing to stand up for yourself and, de and defend your position. You have the right to excuse yourself from those who bring only drama into your life. Choose yourself first this month. Pick your battles wisely, but don't, don't walk away from, you know, something that's important to you. Stand up for yourself and claim it. Claim your position. You earned a seat at the table, Capricorn. You did. Okay. Let's see number three. Seven of emotion. Your angels are asking you to take an important decision that you've been putting off for some time. It's sorry. It's likely you know which choice to make, but you're procrastinating so you don't upset someone else. Ask heaven for guidance and then make a choice that celebrates who you truly are. Wow, that's a very deep message. I think you're trying to hold on to a situation just because you don't want to break somebody's heart or disappoint somebody with that decision. But if it's true to you, if it's your truth and it's your true soul path, you got to walk it. You got to walk it and that person might be a part of it. For a reason, you know, it empowers you as well. They're asking you to take this, take the shot on yourself. So maybe you've been asking, maybe you've been putting off something because you feel maybe it's selfish or maybe it's not the right thing to do. But that's why the angels are coming in and say, listen, we know, we know this struggle. We know what you're dealing with right now. But we're telling you to choose yourself first right now. So you got a green light when it comes from the people above. Okay. <laughs> the universe all the way with you wouldn't have put you in a decision if it wasn't for you to make a choice not to keep you stuck and stuck and not to live your life with another person that person will survive okay i do feel for some of you guys it has to do with a job but you don't want to disappoint your boss because it might not have a new person to replace you yet that's not your problem it's not your business i know you're and I know it sounds weird because I'm a cancer and I do the exact same thing often. But um, in the end of the day, sometimes you guys are so devoted to work and to, you know, be of service that you forget that that's not supposed to be part of your life anymore. And by leaving it, you choose yourself first. And it comes out of self-love, then it can never be wrong. You're not doing it against that person. You're doing it for yourself. And that person will understand that because he or she started that business one day also for themselves and they might have to leave, leave, leave their own job in that time. So if somebody understands as a business owner and yes, they will pressure you. But hey, it is what it is. You got to stand up for what's right. What's your truth, Pat? It's your life. You got to live it for yourself first. So that's the last thing that came out actually. <laughs> I hope this was helpful for some of you. I know it wasn't for all of you, uh, the messages that came through, but it was a very powerful message that I think some of you really needed to hear. So thank you so much for your patience, your love and support. Um, like, I, I just love you guys, really I do. So um, for now I'm checking out. I'll be back in like, let me see, I think like two weeks or something, a week and a half with the March readings already. I'll try and upload that as soon as possible. Uh, for now, have a lovely February. Enjoy yourself. Be yourself. And, you know, trying to figure out who's the leader of the triangle at the moment. I would love to hear it. Bye, Capricorn. I love you guys. Bye.